Bitcoin was here dropping massively to the downside, but the question is how low will we actually go, where we get the bounce and when will this end? And that is something that I want to talk about today. Hi, my name is Alex from Iron Crypto and let's get here straight into the charts. So when we are looking here on the four hourly chart for Bitcoin, we can clearly see that we have here broken the trend line to the downside and had then here that massive move um, yeah, all the way down to the bottom of our green support box. And it looks like right now that we are getting here a small bounce back into that box. And I would like to see is that we actually close the candle here within uh, that box and move here continuously to the upside. As long as that is not the case, and we are not closing here candles within our box, I will remain here bearish. Guys, remember, I had told you yesterday that if we don't get a close here at $48,500 above that level, that I will remain neutral to bearish. And now you will you understand why I had the stance and was here leaning more to the bearish side if we are not breaking the $48,500 level. We have tested it here to the dollar multiple times and could not manage to break through it. And then we broke the trend. So, but how did, can we identify that we actually broke the trend? So that is pre pretty easy, guys. When we are creating a low and then we are creating higher lows and we are creating also local higher highs, then we are technically in an uptrend. So, and that goes on here, another higher low, um, another higher high, until we get a lower low. So, and that was here with that green candle, the case. It was a small one, but it was lower than this one here. So, and from there onwards, we were also then creating lower highs, and that was the signal that we are breaking the trend and then we might get here to the downside. Now the question is, is this dump already over? Guys, I believe it is not over. If we go here to a higher time frame, to the weekly chart, so then you can see that we are sitting here exactly at the bottom of our support box at $43,900. So because we came already all the way from the top here down and we have here a bearish candle for now, and we are also looking like that we are creating a rounding top here on the weekly chart. I believe that we will bleed more and that we get here at least to the second green box under us at 40,100, 39,500 in that kind of range. Guys, if you enjoy my content and that I am here straight to the point without any nonsense, then please click the subscribe button and activate all notifications. I'm really, really enjoying to do videos for all and each and every one of, uh, of you out there, guys. So, yeah, so here on, on the weekly chart, we are looking definitely bearish. And then it also doesn't matter what happens on the smaller time frames, on the four hour, on the one hour. Yes, we can see here some short term um, bounces to the upside, but where the higher the time frame, the more significant the time frame actually is, and also the more weight it actually has. So the higher time frame will always overtake the shorter time frame and has always more weight. So if on a higher time frame we are looking absolutely bearish, then at some point the shorter time frame will catch up and will then also go to the downside. So now, I want to have also a quick look into Solana because here happened something that I had told you guys. Um, I had told you that when um, a while back, when we are not getting here up again above the $174, $180 level, that we should expect that Solana goes all the way down to $130 and that would be a level where I would look at to buy. So and what happened guys, we went here exactly to the dollar, exactly as I had predicted it a couple of days ago, um, down to this level. Actually, I predicted that like a week ago, I think. Um, 
So we came exactly down here to $130 and get from there um, a mild to strong bounce for now. So congratulations to everyone that uh, took advantage of that and had buy orders placed here all the way down there. Um, so, but what's next for Solana? I believe we will not get much lower than the $130 level. Um, we could see here some sideways action, but then uh, I think that Solana will come up again. Solana is one of the few coins that um, does his own thing and um, yeah, is not that much dependent on Bitcoin actually. Uh, let's jump here then straight into Ethereum. So Ethereum is right now at a huge discount. So after we broke here the falling wedge to the downside. So guys, you have to remember a falling wedge can also break to the downside. The chances that this ha is happening are just really, really, really slim. So we have um, a 70 to 30% chance that we are breaking usually to the upside, but this time we actually broke to the downside. So here we have this um, three out of 10 cases where we broke a falling wedge to the downside. Now it looks also in Ethereum like that we get a small bounce here, but here to flip again neutral, neutral to bullish on Ethereum, we have to retake a key level, which is the $3,182 level, which we have lost now and fell through like a rock. So only if we can retake that level, I will change my stance. Until then, I will remain bearish. For now, we got here a really, really nice bounce of the golden ratio of the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.065 at 3050 and um, yeah, more or less $3,000. But there is a chance if we are not reclaiming here really quick the $3,182 level that we will roll over and go here to the... 0786 at 2780 or even all the way down to our low of 2435 so that is um, definitely a scenario that i would look out for right now guys and guys if you want to take advantage of this volatile market then you can go to the pinned comment below and use my link to Bybit or to Femex. And there you can still claim for Bybit a $600 deposit bonus and on Femex $1,200 in bonuses. Don't forget. So now let's have a quick outlook also on the here on the BLX chart for Bitcoin. Here we are still looking bullish even though the price action did not yet update to the downside. But as long as we are staying between these two yellow lines here and bouncing here up and down um, we are still in a good shape so we are now at around forty four thousand dollars so here so unless we are not breaking here with a weekly candle under the lower end of the yellow line at forty two thousand seven hundred twenty one we are still in an um, uptrend and in a bull market technically and this will only change if we get here to the end by the by November and start to fall off the parabolic curve. Then, as soon as we fall off the parabolic curve, then I will uh, admit that we are in a bear market. But until then, according to this chart here, we are not in a bear market just yet. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick update today. I keep it short for today. So please push the YouTube algorithm, make some noise, click the subscribe button, activate the notification bell so that you get always um, notified in real time when I upload a video. And guys, don't forget, see you tomorrow.